The graph below shows the locus of points equidistant from the x-axis and y-axis. On the same set of axes, graph the locus of points three units from the line x is equal to zero. Label with an x all points that satisfy both conditions. They've already graphed the locus of points equidistant from the x-axis and y-axis. They could have asked you to do that yourself, and you would have had to realize that to be equidistant from the x-axis and y-axis, you have to have an equal distance to the x-axis as you do to the y-axis. In this example, the distance to the x-axis is 3 and to the y-axis is 3. At this point, 5 and 5. And if you kept finding points, you would realize this entire line works. And in fact, this entire line works. Now they want the locus of points three units from the line x is equal to zero. x is equal to zero is actually the same thing as the y-axis. If I just tell you x is equal to zero, then you're somewhere on the y-axis. But we want the locus of points three units from the line x is equal to zero. If I start at the origin, I can be three units to the right or three units to the left. Up one, I can go three to the right or three to the left. We can keep going with this and realize we're just going to get two parallel lines. But now we need to label with an X all points that satisfy both conditions, which is just going to be the points where the blue intersects the pink.